there, my name is Cameron and I hope that you're having a great day today. Now we're gonna get to read a cool book together and I think that you're really gonna like it. It's called Mrs. McTats and Her House Full of Cats. So if you like cats or kittens, you're definitely gonna like this book. So let's go ahead and get started. In a small cozy cottage lived Mrs. McTats. She lived all alone except for one cat. You can see Mrs. McTats there by her house with her little cat there. Every morning she left as the clock struck eight. To market, to market, I mustn't be late. She browsed through the market and chose a plump fish. For Abner and me, what a sumptuous dish. When she got home, there came a scratch on the door and in walked two cats. Was there room for two more? Come in, my sweet dear, said Mrs. McTats. I'm sure I've got room for just two more cats. I'll call you Basil and Curly you'll be. I only had one cat, but now I have. Do you know how many she has? Can you guess? Now she has three cats. The very next morning, Mrs. McTats woke early. She stopped to pet Abner and Basil and Curly. To market, to market, she said, I mustn't be late. This chicken, I think, will surely taste great. You can see her shopping there at the market. But when she got home, there came a scratch on the door and in walked three cats. Was there room for three more? Come in, my sweet dear, said Mrs. McTats. I think I've got room for just three more cats. Now give me a moment, what shall your names be? Hmm, do you have ideas? <laughs> this one is Dolly and you're Ernest and, and Fuzzy makes three. The very next morning, off went Mrs. McTats. What can I buy for my six hungry cats? I've got it, I'll make a nice stew. So she carried home beef and liver to brew. You can see her leaving the market but back at home, there came a scratch on the door and in walked four cats. Was there room for four more? Come in, my sweet dear, said Mrs. McTats. I know there's a place for just four more cats. 10's a fine number, 10 cats and me. I'll call you Goldie and Herman you'll be. Izzy and Jezebel pranced across the floor and then right behind them, followed five more. Five more cats. That's a lot of cats, right? Can you guess how many cats she has now? I'll call you Coco and Linus, Millie, Noreen, and you shall be Oscar. There, that makes 15. 15 cats. Wow. The very next day, off went Mrs. McTats. What can I possibly buy to feed 15 cats? She chose a fresh tuna, and a fine trout. But when she got home, all her cats were out. Where did they go? She counted her cats outside from one to 15. But somehow, six more cats had just joined the scene. Come, come, my sweet dear, said Mrs. McTats. I'm sure I have plenty for 21 cats. This one is Pip and Quip and Rosebud Sally and Tozy, Ursula dear, do make yourself cozy. You can see she's curled up and cozy on that little couch outside. <laughs> but then came another scratch on the door. Could it be more cats? How many more? More and more cats every day, huh? In came Violet, in came Winnie, and just behind a kitten she named Zinny. Look at the cute little kitten there. In came Yodel, the last of the bunch. You can see him singing. 25 cats all ready for lunch. And they're all bunched up in our little cottage there. But something was missing. What could it be? Just what it was, Mrs. McTats could not see. What do you think is missing? Do you have any guesses? Hmm. As she stood there puzzling, there was a scratch on the door and Mrs. McTats wondered, could there really be more? Could she squeeze in more cats? 
more than 25? Who was the one who was next to arrive? Hmm. Come in, my sweet dear, said Mrs. McTats. I live in this cottage with 25 cats. But if you don't mind, you're welcome to stay, you're welcome to eat, and you're welcome to play. Well, isn't that nice of Mrs. McTats? Now in that small cottage lives Mrs. McTats, all happy and cozy with her 25 cats. You can see all of her cats all around her. And now one little puppy who is known as Zoom in a small cozy cottage with plenty of room. And there's Zoom there, one puppy and 25 cats. Wow, <laughs> what a lot of pets, right? And just when the clock stri strikes each morning at eight, Mrs. McTats hurries off, I mustn't be late. To market, to market, what treats will there be for 26 sweet deers, all from A to Z? The end. So that is Mrs. McTats and her house full of cats and one puppy. <laughs> I hope that you liked the book and um, I hope that you have a good rest of your day. So uh, bye now.